The first thing to be clear about is that when we talk about the left and right side of the heart, it's from the point of view of the patient or subject, and not from the point of view of the doctor or observer. The right side of the heart carries deoxygenated blood, and the left side carries oxygenated blood. Blood enters the left side of the heart through the vena cava, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. This deoxygenated blood has its pressure increased by the heart. It leaves through the pulmonary artery and goes to the lungs. It comes back from the lungs through the pulmonary vein, oxygenated but now at low pressure. It is now raised in pressure by the left side of the heart and sent out through the aorta to be recirculated. Let's have a look inside the heart. There are four chambers in the heart. Two atria where the blood enters and two ventricles where the blood leaves. Between each atrium and its ventricle there is a one-way valve called the atrioventricular valve. This will only allow blood to flow from an atrium to a ventricle and not from a ventricle to an atrium. There are also one-way mitral valves. For the right side, one of these is at the entrance of the pulmonary artery. For the left side, it's at the entrance of the aorta. In the functioning of the heart, deoxygenated blood first comes into the right atrium. On atrial contraction or systole, it is forced into the right ventricle. On systole of the right ventricle, the blood can't return to the atrium because of the one-way atrioventricular valve. So it's pushed through a mitral valve into the pulmonary artery and off to the lungs. The blood comes back from the lungs through the pulmonary vein and into the left atrium. On left atrial systole the blood is forced into the left ventricle. Again it can't return to the atrium because of the one-way atrioventricular valve. What about the electrical impulses that keep the heart beating? Well up here in the top right hand corner there's a group of cells called the sinoatrial or SA node. This sends out regular electrical impulses that spread through the atria and cause atrial systole. But they can't spread onto the ventricles and cause ventricular systole because there's an insulating layer of collagen here. However, they do reach another node called the atrioventricular or AV node and after a brief delay this sends a signal down the bundles of His and onto the Purkinje fibres. So ventricular systole always follows atrial systole after a slight delay. This is essential for the heart to act as a pump.